Yeah, this is going to be a demonstration of the Don Smith uh, globe. The uh, we're running at 24.32 kilohertz, 540 volts. That's about what's going into this. This sphere is kicking out 4,000 volts. By the time it goes through the cap, spark gap gets to the bulb, we are floating 540 volts. So this is a demonstration from what I can interpret of Don Smith's uh, plasma globe. It's 328 of 2019. It's warmed up. 24 kilohertz cold at 21 kilohertz in that area 600 volts in the area we've got 506 well 600 volts on the ground side I've got Close to 700 volts on the hot side. That's going in and coming out of the bulb here. It's 2 kV diodes, I believe they are. Quarter amp. Got dual spark gaps. One's a brass screw. The aluminum. Oh, this is a uh, steel screw on the outside there. Sparking against problem with using aluminum rods on both ends it builds up an oxide and it doesn't want to conduct so I ended up putting a steel screw in there this is a uh, I believe it's a xenon flash lamp very big one I'm using that as a spark gap in case the system would try to overload you don't want this particular one here overloading because it will arc from the terminal to the case. There's not much room there to uh, come on, goofy camera. Not much room there between the case and the hot. It's 11 meg. No, 22 meg resistor across it. I don't know if it helps or not, but uh, it does deplete the caps if uh, when you shut it down. Doesn't seem to hurt the system any. This is a ground strap. This is spark plug wire, steel core. This is not a ground strap here. It's being used as the receiving side of the spark. It goes from hot through the spark gap, comes out. I'm using it as a contact with the two screws there. But that is not a ground. Uh, that carries a bit of voltage. Every carries the spark coming out of there. I've got it jammed underneath. As you've seen, there's 20 plus kilohertz flying through these bulbs at 600 and something volts. The voltage and the current is where you get your flat the uh, light from. This is a 120 volt, uh, 20 watt. That is a uh, xenon xeon bulb. It'll get brighter than that if I I can crank this I can crank it up and turn get it brighter. I've already blown out like a 30, 40 watt bulb cranking on this. I let it pulse. The pulses will go way beyond 120 volts, and that's how I popped it. Pop it flashed too many times one too many times and that was it warmed up the system is running 120 volts or 12 12 volts 1.74 amps i have packets 
one here, one inside of this, and one back here. These are packets of iron filings. <clears throat> Get them from an automotive shop from uh, when they turn the brake drums. It's at 1.734 they will there's 1.78745 they increase it a bit the uh now Milinchenko talked about the uh separation of electric and magnetic fields on a ferrite core I think you can see the separation, not that it's because of the iron in there. It will do that on these ferrite cores. This is a busted rubber band. But there's your uh, separation around the cores. I have spacers in between these to separate the two. Two windings, two windings, single, and a single. That's all I could dig up around here. I can remove. Oh, I got the top one taped down. But anyway, yeah, 1.7473. I put, put it back in there. Some of six. It helps it a little. I don't know if it's hurting it or not. Well, it's not hurting it. I, it. I don't know how much it's actually helping. But the more you add to the system, the more current this thing draws. It's been converted from AC. It was a 12 volt AC little plug-in transformer I've got it running DC I went inside and went right straight to the diodes the AC adapter they give you with these do not use those they lose too much energy uh, you lose a oh, quarter amp just from the heat the things use to generate 12 volts so this is going directly from here and in, inside uh, I have I added a heat sink around the transformer inside and around the uh, FET they have this uses a hex inverter to generate the uh, pulses there's no clock per se it uses an FET and the uh, hex inverter and some timing and a capacitor time uh, resistors the capacitor uses that to generate the high voltage and this seems to be tuned around 24 kilohertz warmed up at K we're at 24.3 kilohertz 500 volts in this area 600 so and it it is radiating out couple uh you know a couple meters wherever metals attached in this area it reaches out and uh it can be picked up i'm trying to keep it contained but yeah 1.77 amps it was running under an AC power around 9 volts with a 12 volt AC adapter it'll run at 9 volts now this can be cranked down to 9 that's close enough it wouldn't it's not pulsing it's pulsing because of this and the caps but that's about the way it would look Put the adapter on there. It's about as bright. I wouldn't run this up too awful high. The chip, 
I'm sure cannot tolerate more than 14 volts for any length of time. Perhaps the FET might. Ground. I've got two grounds on this. This one here, this ground here on the, the ground strap is running to an outside ground. I have running through the basement to the backyard. This ground here is running to the water pipes. If I remove it, see 1.76 now, if I remove it, I lose something. So I throw it on there just not to lose whatever it's get whatever I'm gaining. 700 volts, 600 in this area. It'll jump around. I believe these are two kV diodes. Uh, quarter amp perhaps. This is the ground side. That is the hot side, the diodes is, is on the diagram. Uh, one's the hot. You just need the two in the single wire here. Each one of these coils, I'm only tapping one winding. You got an in and an out. Well, I'm only tapping one wire off of each one. The other one is free uh, in the air. The, uh, yeah, like this one here. You gotta watch your fingers around this little sucker. So, anyway, yeah, as per the diagram, uh, you can tie them together. It doesn't seem to make any difference. This whole system is really, it operates weird. I cannot get the frequency down. I cannot get the voltage down to get it to even charge a battery. Uh, going through this as you've seen this is running you got four or five hundred volts going in there. It gets bright and it gets dim or a little dim. I don't know why. Uh, other point, here's the diagram, I'll take that and put it up 